Hey, Brian here from RVWithTito.com and today we're going to have a little bit of fun trying to take apart this 100 watt semi-flexible uh, solar panel. Actually, it doesn't uh, produce 100 watts anymore because this particular panel is toast. It died on the RV after a couple of years of use. I did some troubleshooting to try to figure out what the problem was and uh, thinking maybe I could fix it, but I uh, wasn't able to fix it. So, uh, you know, I removed it, but I did a video about that whole troubleshooting and removal process. It's hardly putting out any current at all. So if you're interested in that, I'll, I'll uh, link it here somewhere so you can check it out. I thought I'd take it to the next level in this video and see if we can take this apart somehow. Take this apart somehow and get to the cell level to figure out how this thing is uh, organized and constructed and maybe even be able to uh, figure out uh, where the failure might be. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not, but at least we're going to give it a try. If you're wondering what I replaced it with, I ended up taking all the uh, 100 watt uh, flex panels off and uh, replacing them with newer SunPower branded flex panels that I really like. So I'm going to link those in the description if you want to check that out. But today we're going to heat this sucker up. Yep, we got a torch and uh, see if we can do some damage. See if we can get these layers apart. So uh, let's get to it. Now before I get started, I thought I'd uh, just kind of hold this up to a light and see if we can, what we can see from the back with a light shining through it. Uh, this particular panel looks like it's got 4 times 8, so uh, what, 32 uh, cells in here. I think these are all in series and they're kind of wired down here on this side and then they go up this side here and uh, I think it goes all the way across. Uh, and then down this way back up and, and the negative. So we got a positive here, a negative here. I think I'm just going to cut a groove down here so as I heat it up I'll be able to peel away this, uh, this plastic material and you know I don't want to cut into one of the cells. All right, looks like that's working. It's got a lot more to do. Okay, this is taking a while, but uh, you can see I got some of it removed already. Uh, about half of this top section. And it turns out the uh, using the heat and the torch only does so much because uh, it cools pretty fast once you start working with it. So I've just been kind of whittling away with it with a knife. But uh, you can already kind of see the uh, you know the pattern of the solar cells in the back here, and they're all kind of encapsulated in this. Uh, this rubbery stuff in the middle. It's already taken me a little while, but I'm going to continue on and uh, kind of finish this top section. I'm not going to remove the back of this whole panel. That's just going to take too long, and I don't think it's going to really add any uh, anything new here. But uh, let me let me finish it, and we'll take a closer look.
Well, this thing is definitely toast now. <laughs> uh, I got a little bit anxious uh, towards the end there and just started tearing it off. So, you know, there's a couple spots here where I kind of cut into the back of the cell. Uh, definitely damaged it. So there's no sense in trying to do any more troubleshooting, but it's kind of cool to see how it all lays out and the different layers. You know, this back part was a real pain in the butt to get off as you saw. You know, obviously towards the end there, the heat <laughs> was my friend. But you can also see the front sheet here. I just was able to peel that right off. That's all there is to it. It's just this thin piece of uh, plastic and it's really easy to scratch so you know I could just scratch it with a knife or even my, my fingernail and uh, it's scratched there for good but yeah look at that. It's kind of brittle. But it seemed to have uh, kept the, the cells here on the front uh, protected because they don't look like they've uh, changed color or anything like that. So let's take a closer look at, uh, at the back here and you can kind of see how it's, how it's wired up. You can see that the cells and the connections and everything are all sealed up in this uh, rubbery material and uh, you know they're completely enclosed in there. They're pretty well protected and uh, surprisingly this center section is uh, pretty flimsy. So, you know, that I don't really see any visible uh, problems here with the connections, you know, with the uh, back off and the, uh, and the front sheet off. Uh, you know, this is really all there is to it. You can see the positive comes in here on this tabbing strip and it goes all the way over here. So this is probably the positive side of the cell. And then all those connections on the back of the cell here Go to the negative side of the cell, so it's negative, positive, negative, positive, all the way up through here to the top of this row, and this goes underneath the uh, the main connection here to this row, and it continues down, negative, positive, or positive, negative, whatever it is, all the way till it comes up to this side, which it should end on a negative, and then that comes over here and out the negative cable. There are uh, 32 uh, of these cells. Each one is uh, I think about 0.6 volts and they're wired in series all up and down here until they come out the other end. So I guess if you multiply 0.6 by 32 you know you should get uh, the equivalent of a 100 uh, watt panel once you figure out the current and all that. So that's basically how this uh, this solar panel is wired and these are back contact cells so you know you don't see any of these tabbing strips on the front of the cell all you see is all you see is this you know this dark colored uh, monocrystalline looking cell now that's kind of the difference between uh, these cells I think and the sun power cells I have now where you know these still feel pretty flimsy even though they're back contact cells I believe the sun power ones have a solid copper backing uh, which gives them a lot more protection from breakage or cracking. When I was taking this off I could tell that there were some little micro cracks in here which kind of are hard to see uh, but uh, they're definitely there you know as I was just kind of like <laughs> manhandling this to get it to get the back off. Pretty cool setup I think. Well, this was fun. Uh, I had a great time just kind of tearing this apart and I've been wanting to do it for a while just to see how these things are put together and I hope you got something out of it too. It's kind of fun just to take things apart and, uh, and check it out, you know, especially if you're a really curious person like I am. But if there's something I didn't show that you wanted to see or if you have any questions, comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to give you an answer. But hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.